Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. So, one of the day as I have been meditating on just the scriptures that have come forth with Brother Black Open, the prophecy the Lord gave that we, we, we ought to trust Him, uh, Brother David's message, winning the battle up front, uh, it, it's all, for me, um, uh, the cap on this week. Because, it, you know, uh, uh, there have been many things this week that have shown me areas where I haven't been trusting the Lord. So, and uh, this sermon in some sense is like that. Uh, knew I was to preach upwards of two weeks ago. And it, it, so in some sense came with a surprise. Oh, really? Because often I know well in advance that there's something I've got to say. I may not know everything I have to say, but I know. So two weeks ago I'm thinking... Oh, okay. Then it was later confirmed this week. Well, Brother Terry, the Lord said you got to preach. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Praise the Lord. I spoke to Brother David yesterday. He said, Well, yeah, the Lord, tell me what I got to preach. I said, Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, Okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and I said, Well, uh, certainly by midnight. You know, certainly by midnight. Low speak. Of midnight came. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Sometime this morning, he'll tell me what's going on. No. So, you know. Uh, so, in some sense, this, this message is me trusting the Lord. You know, the, the, uh, uh, David picked me up. So, well, David, I still don't know what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> so, I said, but I know it's going to come. I know it's going to come. And it's funny how I know it's going to come. Because God has done this to me before. This is not a new thing. Yet, there's still anxiety. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, isn't that foolish? He's done this to me before. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the very first time I preached, I had written a sermon. I was ready. Got up to the podium. I said, don't, don't, don't talk about that. <laughs> Give it a brand new topic. Preached. And he kept doing it until I got out of writing sermons. So I said, what, what are you doing? <laughs> it's not your message. Mm -hmm. Yet, I had that history. And he's done it many, many times. Yeah, I found myself anxious because 3 o'clock was coming and I, I didn't know what I was going to talk about. Mm. But again, I tell you, it's foolish. Because Matthew 11 tells us that at that time of crisis, and I'm paraphrasing, that the Holy Ghost will speak. Yeah. But I've got to believe that. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So there's a message. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to 1 John chapter 5. I told David to use some computer lingo. I was waiting for the download. I was waiting for the data to come from on high. But I guess I should say I'm waiting for the upload. So, you know, we have the Holy Ghost within us. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> uh, turn to First John. I'll get there with you in a second. I do want to reread a verse Brother Black read when he opened the, sermon, the uh, service today. He read out of Philippians chapter 4. And I just want to highlight something he said there. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Whatsoever things are of good report are what we should be thinking on, what we should be meditating on. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we should then ask the question to you, what does it mean, what is good report? Mm -hmm. And where does good report come from? Mm. Now, if you're in First John, the Lord answers that for us. Starting at, uh, I read verse 9 down, First John 5, starting at verse 9. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. Mm -hmm. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believed not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal and this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that you believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. 
And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Let me read it again. If we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And, we, and if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. So today's title is, Whose Report Will You Believe? Amen. Whose Report Amen. Will You Believe? Amen. Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for everything you've done, Lord, to bring us to this moment. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you, Lord, that we can freely assemble, Lord, to hear from you. Because mm. we know that parts of the world, this is not a freedom. So we thank you that you have allowed us to grow up in this country at this time, Lord, so we can see your work as the manifestation of your kingdom comes to fruition. And Lord, we thank you for this day. We give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So God is saying he has given us already a good report. The word of God. And the question is, are you going to believe what God has said, or are you going to believe what man has said? And if man says it, then really you're not really believing man, you're believing who is, who, he who is behind man, Satan. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. I'll start at verse 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but a demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Howbeit, we speak among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world. For, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. So we see here this comparison. We have the wisdom of God, we have the wisdom of man, and really behind it, the wisdom of, the, of devils. So whose report will you believe? See, God says, come, diligently seek me. Satan says, oh, you don't need to come. I'll present my information to you every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the form of what your eyes mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. In the form of what your ears mm -hmm. hear. What your nose smells. I will inundate you with my report. Mm -hmm. Which means, if he's given to be freely, mm -hmm. I should be cautious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. The word of God says he is the father of love. Yeah. So I should not be quick to believe what my senses are communicating to me. Mm -hmm. My senses, my feelings, my emotions, flat out lie. Mm -hmm. And until I realize that, I will believe what they tell me. Amen. Yet God says, however, me, you have, you've got to come look for me. Mm -hmm. But Satan says, here, I give it to you free. Mm -hmm. Now, by now we all know, there ain't really nothing free. Mm -hmm. right? There ain't nothing free in the world. Amen. We know the gift of God is free, but there's nothing in the world that's actually free. There's a pay, there's a payday coming. Mm -hmm. Pay now, pay later, but there's a payday coming. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So I'll be cautious about anything, especially Satan is giving for free. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. There's payday coming. Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh, Psalm 118. Psalm 118. Is it recession? Is it depression? Is it worst job loss in, 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 the, in, in the last 25 years? Mm -hmm. Is it, you know, I mean, what is it? There's always going to be a report. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God's report says, so what? Mm -hmm. So what? He says, trust me. David, we read Proverbs 3. Trust the Lord with oh. all. Not with some. Not with 99.9. .9. He said, all. And he says, he will then direct thy path. Mm -hmm. And David told us that we're supposed to be asking 